I think it's really important as a mom and as a former teacher that I really get my son engaged in the political process um, at his level, of course, because I think the more we can get kids excited and engaged in politics, the less likely there's going to be voter apathy going forward. That's my opinion. Jackson, we're talking about politics. Do you talk about politics with your parents? Um, no. Do you talk about the presidential election? Sometimes. Who's the president? Um, Barack Obama. And what's he in charge of? Everyone who lives in America. Go Mitt Romney! Or Barack Obama. It's always good to, to teach kids to learn empathy by understanding other people's sides. And I think that that's a great thing we can do through politics. I thought that it would be interesting to ask my grandmother, who is 97 and a half, if she had any recommendations for talking to young people about the election. Politics in, in front of the kids? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's perfectly all right because I don't think they're listening to what you're saying anyhow. The first time you were able to vote, how did you feel? I felt very grown up. It's pretty amazing when you were first born, women didn't even have a right to vote. Oh, they did. What advice would you give a young 18-year-old woman right now in terms of deciding who to vote for? I think they should read about it, about the people who were running for presidency and before they even think of voting. Do you remember your first presidential election? Well, I remember mine. It was 1980 and it was Reagan. Now, I don't know what you think about that, but for me, it really set the benchmark for all future presidential elections I voted in. So this presidential season, I wanted to stop in and check with my son, Kevin, a recent college grad, a young man starting his career, and get his impressions of the presidential season so far. I mean, so far, I think it's been moving pretty slowly. I've been keeping up with a lot of the debates and the primaries. Um, I know there's been more debates than ever before, but I still think at the same time they've been influencing the poll outcomes more than ever before. I'll go online, I'll look at expert opinions of uh, post-debate, uh, as well as the track records of the candidates and uh, different stances that they're sitting on. Uh, you know, I just got out of school, I have two degrees, I have experience, I'm young, I'm healthy, I really didn't think I'd have trouble finding a job, but unemployment is a very real thing for me, and underemployment seems like the best option right now, so uh, I'm very interested in someone who can address uh, job creation. So to all you out there, I say, if you want some interesting insight on the presidential election, go ask a young voter.